Unfortunately, things don't always go as we would like. For example, millions of users around the world are waiting for that glorious day when Apple will be able to get rid of the notch in the screen of their smartphones. At the moment, the forecasts do not sound so encouraging. And now I'm going to tell you some details of this whole story. Hi, it's OZN, and before I start, I suggest you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. Let's discuss the news. The iPhone 14 range could very quickly seem very odd, as while the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max are both widely rumored to have two camera cutouts on the front, one being a circle, the other pill-shaped. The design might only last for one generation. According to the ELEC, Samsung Display is in the process of developing a new under-panel camera technology, which Apple plans to use on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max to hide the Face ID components under the display. By the sound of things, the actual camera will will still be housed in a punch hole, but that would mean Apple would need just one small cutout like we see on many Android phones, rather than also having a second larger one. The end result would be a less distinctive design, but also perhaps a less divisive one, and importantly, it would allow for few interruptions in the screen. While I take this claim with a pinch of salt for now, this isn't the first time I've heard it, with reputable analyst Min Chi Kuo, for example, also saying back in April that the iPhone 15 Pro would have under display Face ID. Other high-profile leakers such as Ross Young and Mark Gurman have also claimed that Apple will deliver under display Face ID sooner or later, so it seems like it's probably only a matter of time, whether 2023 is the year or not. But if it does happen as soon as 2023, then the iPhone 14 Pro could soon feel like the odd one out in Apple's range. While under display Face ID sounds like a good idea, it will only be a good thing if Apple delivers it well. And the early examples of under display cameras haven't been great. That's partially down to their picture quality, which isn't a consideration with Face ID. However, another problem is that they are not actually totally hidden under the display. They leave a small area that looks noticeably different to the rest of the display. And while that's arguably ultimately less distracting than a punch hole, it's also arguably uglier, and certainly not a perfect solution. I expect Apple will avoid this. Reportedly, it's using new technology to hide Face ID, so perhaps this new technology will solve the problem. Apple certainly isn't the sort of a company to usually offer such an imperfect solution anyway, and it could well be that the reason we waited so long for the company to embrace under display tech is that it wants the Face ID components to be truly invisible. According to John Prosser in his front page tech video, the iPhone 14 will look like an iPhone 12 crossed with an iPhone 4, in that it will stick with flat edges. But those edges could include a mute button and group of rounded buttons for volume central, harking back to the iPhone 4. Supposedly, the sides of the iPhone 14 could be made out of titanium, which could make it tougher and stronger than the previous iPhones, whereas the back would retain the glass finish, but seemingly with a satin like finish. Another design change potentially in the cards for the the iPhone 14 is the tree of rare cameras will no longer protrude from the iPhone's rear, but it sit flush with the back. Given advancement in a camera sensor technology and lens manufacturing, this could be a possibility. But given some schematics that show the iPhone 14 Pro models with the raised camera array being even bigger on the iPhone 14 Pro, and Min Chi Kuo claiming that a larger module is needed to house a 48 megapixel camera, it doesn't look likely the standard iPhone 14 will get a set of cameras flush with its rare panel. A good few rumors have the iPhone 14 tipped to finally kill the display notch. But as it stands, it's now looking like only the iPhone 14 Pro will be notchless, opting for a combination of a single circular camera cutout and a pill-shaped cutout alongside it to hold the Face ID sensors. However, the standard iPhone 14 is now not expected to kill the notch, with tipsters suggesting the iPhone range as whole will be notchless in 2023. A leaker on Weibo has also posted alleged schematics for the iPhone 14 Pro showing the Face ID cutout next to the front-facing camera. It seems divisive to me, but this is early stages, and a new suite of renders for the iPhone 14 Pro gives us another impression of what a post-notch iPhone could look like. However, it's not looking like that this design will find its way over the standard iPhone 14. That could be a little disappointing, as normal iPhones have had to endure with a notch for a four generations now. As for other design changes, renders thus far have the iPhone 
14 range to ditch the camera module in favor of a design that seems the camera integrated into the chassis like older smartphones used to have as well as Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Similar to the Pro, my smart price also obtained CAD renders of the regular iPhone 14. I assume that the iPhone 14 Max will also feature the same design in a body with a 6.7 inch display. As you can see, these renders don't look a whole different than the iPhone 13 we have now. The notch is still slimmer and the rear cameras are stacked diagonally. In fact, it makes me wonder what's truly going to be different about the iPhone 14. Leaker Max Weinbach, who has a historical solid record, posted alleged schematics for the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max. Both show a 0.2mm thicker phone with a larger camera bump. Interestingly enough, the schematics show that the iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max won't differ too much in height and width with their predecessors. These schematics also show the new hole punch pill shaped cutouts. So, what do you think about the iPhone's notch? Do you really think it should be removed as soon as possible? Your answers, as always, you can leave in the comment section below. I will definitely read everything and I will answer the most interesting comments and give hearts from the channel. If this video seems interesting to you, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. You were watching OZN and I'll see you guys in the next one.